everyone this is Yakalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from higher order linear differential equation so let's get going problem solve d square minus 5d plus 6 into y equals to e power 4x so we are given a problem in the equation which is in f of d into y equals to q form where q equals to e power 4x which is in e power ax form where a is a real number that means 4 is a real number solution Given differential equation, d square minus 5d plus 6 into y equals to 4x which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 5d plus 6 and q equals to e power 4x right now we need to find the general solution to this equation so we'll use firstly the auxiliary equation to find complementary function The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is, okay, we'll not take q, we'll take f of y equals to 0, we'll just consider f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to just replace this d by m then you'll get m square minus 5m plus 6. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 5m plus 6 equals to 0. We need to find roots to this equation. Okay. So you'll get m square. Now split this minus 5m as minus 2m minus 3m plus 6 equals to 0. Then take m common from the first two terms. You get m times m minus 2. Now take minus 3 common from the next two terms. You will get minus 3 times m minus 2. See? Minus 3 into m is minus 3m and minus 3 into minus 6 is plus 6. Right? Equals to 0. Now, we are having m minus 2 in both the equations. So, let's take m minus 2 common from these two. You will get m minus 2 into m minus 3 equals to 0. Again, by equating each factor to 0, we will get m equals to 2 and 3. Right? Then, m equals to 2, 3. So here the roots are real and distinct. Therefore, m equals to 2 and 3 are the roots of f of m equals to 0 which are real and distinct right we don't have any repeated roots or complex roots we have real and distinct roots and also we know that if m1 m2 are two real and distinct roots Then the complementary function yc is given by c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x. Right? Then our yc will be c1 e power take one root 
2mn x plus c to one, again one more constant into e power another root into x okay so we got complementary function y c equals to c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power 3x now we need to find particular integral y p equals to 1 by f of d into q is equals to 1 by for f of d we are having f of d equals to d square minus 5 d plus 6 right so write d square minus 5 d plus 6 and for q equals to e power 4x now just replace this d by 4 then you will get 4 square minus 5 into 4 plus 6 which is equal to 4, six. four square is 16 minus 5 4 is 20 plus 6 which is equal to 16 plus 6 is 22 minus 20 which is equal to 2 not equal to 0 since f of 4 is not equal to 0 then we can obviously uh, substitute or replace d by 4 then you will get 1 by f of 4 which is 2 into e power 4x is equal to e power 4x by 2 okay or you can write one more step 1 by f of 4 equals to 1 by 2 into e power 4x equals to e power 4x by 2. Therefore, yp equals to e power 4x by 2. Right? Now we'll write the general solution. Therefore, the general solution consider the given equation as equation number 1 to 1 is given by y equals to yc plus yb complementary function plus particular integral. So we have yc equals to c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power 3x plus yp is e power 4x by For y equals to c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power 3x plus e power 4x by 2 is the required solution. Okay, or you can write this as y equals to c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power 3x plus Write 1 by 2 separately. 1 by 2 into e power 4x. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.